Well, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about this hair, honey, okay? This is another Caribbean bundle by Afri Natural, and it's in the 3A Water Wave. You know, I got this from ElevateStyles.com, and look at the texture of this, you guys. Really, really, really nice crochet hair. Uh, this is the second Caribbean bundle I've, I've installed, and this is my braid pattern. Just braids going all the way back. I tried to make them small. It's about 12 braids going back with some leave out, and as you can see, I'm showing you the leave out here as I am almost done installing the hair okay and this is what the texture looks like before manipulation very very pretty nice has excellent potential and I cannot wait to see what this hair does so here we go this is what the strand looks like and I did not separate the strands obviously they are looped so there's no need to separate the strands or anything you just go ahead and attach it like so okay and these need to be secured about three or four times because this hair is kind of slippy or you know so you want to make sure that it's doesn't slip out so you secure it three or four times as you can see here so you see the curls are very defined very pretty um, the color is a number two uh, that's more that's you know more like my natural hair color so that's what I prefer and so here I'm taking out the flat twists and the two little twists in the top to go ahead and try to blend that hair in with this hair now I am going to kind of fluff this hair out a little bit more than this so <laughs> yeah And here we are, you guys, four weeks later. And this is how I've been wearing the hair for the most part. You guys know how I feel about the high puff. And that's what it looks like with this hair. Now, let's take it out, you know, pull it out, get it ready to style. This is four weeks later, and this is what the hair looks like, okay? To me, it looks more realistic. Yes, there's some frizz, there's some knots and things like that, but we are gonna take care of that with a little snip snip, you know what I'm saying, separate the hair and uh, you know, just shape it up a little bit. So I didn't experience any matting or anything like that, nothing too severe because again, I didn't over manipulate the hair. And as you can see here, this is probably the worst section. So all I do is take some scissors and cut off the frizz, the knots and everything that just, just is not working and move on from there. So that's pretty much how I maintain the hair. If something looked wonky, I just cut it off. All right, now let's get the brush, honey. You guys know, you know how I feel about this brush and brushing out this texture. Starting from the ends, I'm just taking it and brushing it out. I'm not brushing it out too hard or anything. I just kind of want to add some volume and frizz just like that. Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? How much more realistic it looks after you brush it out. So here we go, you guys. This is after I've brushed all the hair out and you can't tell me, you cannot tell me that this is not beautiful hair. Do you see this hair? Look at that. Gorgeous. So I could wear this for another two weeks. I really could just use a satin bonnet, fluff it out in the mornings. I could wear this for another two weeks. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this hair, okay? Like this, I love this hair, so yeah. If you guys are interested, it's at ElevateStyles.com and the link will be in the description box. Check it out. Look at it. Look. Shock with plan. All right. So yeah, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.